you guys through like some glute and hamstring work. I really like to keep my feet close together. Keep your body braced against the back of the pad. I go just enough that I feel it and I come back up nice and controlled. Hey everyone, welcome to Dragon Pharma's YouTube channel. My name is Taylor, I'm an IFBB wellness pro. We are here at Empower Gym. This is gonna be my first workout on the channel and also at this gym, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna run you guys through like some glute and hamstring work and make sure to like and subscribe. Before we get started, I'm definitely gonna take some pre-workout. This is our newest um, pre-workout we have, Miami Vibes. I don't know what it tastes like. It's my first time trying it, so let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna do a, a little scoop. I don't want to do a big scoop today. Quads is usually my heavier leg day, but for wellness, I do need to bring up my hamstrings and my glutes, so that's what we need to focus on. All right, let's see. Mm, okay, a strong flavor is coming in. Is there pineapple? Maybe, mango? I don't know. Very tropical. It's giving tropical vibes right now. It's really good. Okay, so I was close. I got the pineapple, but it's coconut and strawberry as well. It's really good. And it's also um, online already, the pre-workout and the shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with the lying hamstring curl. I like to usually warm up uh, about two, maybe three sets, depending how I'm feeling. I have a bad left hamstring, so you really wanna warm it up and make sure that you're feeling good before you start pushing weight. Um, when I'm doing the hamstring curl, I really wanna make sure that I'm pushing my hips into the pad and not curving up, okay? So you don't put pressure on your lower back. I really like to keep my feet close together. That's to focus more on my adductors because I need to strengthen them. But if you don't need to strengthen your adductors, you can go ahead and just put your feet normal at a normal hip length. And I just did about 15 reps, nothing crazy. I'll do another 15 reps and then I'll push the weight up and I'll start to do maybe 12 reps. Right now, since I was a warm-up set, I'll take like 40 seconds and then I'll go ahead and start my set again. So now I rested, I feel my heart rate a little bit lower, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my first working set. So that one, you can tell is a working set because towards the end, I'm really starting to feel it. Yeah. That was my second working set. As you can see, at different gyms, the weight is gonna feel different as well. Today, it's feeling a little bit heavier, um, but I'm gonna go and do one more working set back off a little while, a little bit, and get a really good hard contraction at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the weight and do a drop set on this last set. That hurt. We're gonna go over. Um, now I do usually seated hamstring curl or an RDL. I'm gonna go ahead and do RDLs right now and I'm gonna use the pit shark. I don't feel like using dumbbells and I don't feel like using the Smith machine today. So we're gonna try out the pit shark. So the pit shark was taken, so scratch that. 
we're gonna go ahead and do the seated hamstring curl. I was gonna do it either way, so it's fine if I do it before or after somebody's using another machine. I'll go ahead and do the seated hamstring curl. I'm gonna keep my feet close again because again, I wanna focus on my adductors a lot. So I'm gonna do that. And then you wanna make sure that you pull this pad as tight as you can down on your knees. Keep your body braced against the back of the pad. Push yourself here so that you're not arching forward. Hard contraction on the bottom, control on the way up. Since I warmed up on the other machine, this was my first working set. I don't need to warm up anymore. My hamstrings are already warm. So a little bit about me. I became pro at Nationals in 2022. Um, I decided to take this whole year to improve. I didn't want to just jump on a pro stage. These girls look amazing. Um, so I wanted to take the time to grow, improve, enjoy my family a little bit, friends, everything like that. Um, and then I plan on competing again next year in 2024. Maybe start prep around January, don't hold me to it, but that's what I'm planning right now. Each machine you might feel more than others. For me, I feel seated hamstring a lot. Other people, they don't feel it as much. Um, I really like the seated hamstring, the lying hamstring curl. Those are always gonna be on my hamstring days. RDLs, just depending how my left hamstring is feeling, because I do have that little injury I had before that I have to work around sometimes. Usually when I do work out hamstrings and quads, I do have a workout partner um, to help me get those last reps, spot me a little bit, push me a little bit. Today I'm by myself, so I'm gonna attempt to do my last set and drop set and push the reps until I can by myself. I'm gonna drop the weight now. Okay, so as you can see there, I did my normal reps, dropped the weight, did normal reps again, and I did some partials at the end and tried to hold it. Again, with a workout partner, you'll be able to get a little bit more out of you, but you gotta work with what you got right now. Okay, a little tip, gym etiquette. If somebody's using a machine, you simply, if you want it, you ask them how many sets do you have, no rush, and you either go use another machine or you wait and you use it. But don't get mad because somebody has four more sets, five more sets. Everybody's here to work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my straps and my back, um, my belt on because my grip will definitely give out before my legs. So i rather be able to push weight and not give up. <laughs> okay, so when doing this exercise, everyone has different range of motion. Some people can go lower, some people can, don't go as low. I'm someone that I can't go as low or else my lower back will take over and my hamstring will hurt. So I go just enough that I feel it and I come back up nice and control. Feet are gonna be right about here, shoulder length, shoulders back, back flat, pull up.
All right, so that felt really good today. I was able to get a little more of a stretch than usual. Um, you notice that I go really slow, controlling it. I'm not pushing off just my heels. A lot of people like to push off their heels. I think about pushing my feet all the way into the ground when I'm coming up. So I'm here, pushing my feet into the ground, contracting my hamstrings. That weight, it feels good. I don't want to go up and compensate with my lower back. Okay, so now I'm done with the hamstrings. I did the lying hamstring curl, the seated hamstring curl, um, and RDLs on the pit shark. Usually I would do a full hamstring day and full glute day by themselves, but today I'm doing hamstrings and touching up a little bit of glutes. So now I'm gonna come and do abduction. The way that I like to do it is I flex my feet up, my toes are up. I kind of hunch over a little bit and I hold the sides. So some people might feel it more here. I feel it more here. Everybody's different. You need to play with it and see how you feel it. Nice and control all the way until you get the full contraction. So notice how I'm not swinging it open. I'm doing it nice and control. So I just did 15 reps there. Nice and control, not swinging it. Really thinking about using your glutes. So, I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but I'm literally shaking on those last reps. It's easy to just move it, throw the weight, but when you really slow things down, I do it with my clients, and you really feel the difference. Some things, yes, you can push more weight, and it doesn't need to be that slow, but other machines like this, just really focus on feeling it. So before I switched over to wellness, I was a bikini competitor. I started in 2019 competing. Before that, I was just, I started the gym in 2017. I was always active. I played soccer, karate, cheerleading, dance. I did a bunch when I was younger, just never weightlifting. I was really, really skinny um, to the point that people would ask me, do you even eat? You know, so it made me very insecure. So I wanted to gain weight. That's all I cared about. I didn't care if it was fat, if I just wanted to gain weight. So I got into the gym, I gained weight, I felt my confidence go up, and then I did bikini. I didn't like that I had to slim down again, but I like competing. I like the challenge, I like the whole prep. So when wellness came out, I said, I'm gonna do wellness. That's how I wanna look. 
people told me, no, you're too skinny, you're not gonna be able to do it, stay in bikini. I told them I'm gonna do it. I took 10 months, I grew. Give yourself time to grow. You're not gonna grow in two months and three months the way you need to grow. So I gave myself 10 months. I competed in my first wellness show, the Arnold um, Amateur. I got first place in my class, but only the overall went pro. So I then again prepped. I went to nationals and I got my pro card at my second wellness show. So my advice is if you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to eat the food. I ate a lot of food, 4,000 calories a day. Um, train hard, do what you wanna do, do what makes you happy. Don't listen to the people that tell you you can't do it. So this is my last set. Again, I'm gonna do a drop set, maybe 10 to 12 reps. We'll see where I get. Drop the weight two times and do a drop set. Last one. Drop it two pins. One more time. That's it with this one. Okay, that's a wrap for today. That was my hamstrings and touching up glutes. Nothing crazy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I really would like to do a quad day for you guys next, but let me know what you wanna see. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And before we leave, I just wanna remind you guys that our new flavor, Miami Vibe, is now live. Don't forget to go check it out, guys.